Well, just to kind of show some of the applications, like with Barry, if we're kind of let's say, like take it, like uh, imagining like with the staff, let's say, like was in, in let's say, like our hands, like go here as in an open hand, like a position. So this maneuver will be. So it's kind of taking this little like go as a kind of like a maneuver, let's like go from from Schwan, as in if Barry comes in like with the with the strike and moving across, and it's hit here. Boom. The other little like go way you could kind of let's like go play it would be let's say here, you've hit underneath let's like go the chin. There, you're passing through let's like go here. You step behind the guy. And then you get the throw on. Okay, I'm not going to do the throw on Barry, but you kind of get the idea. The other option is, right? So once you've got it to the strike, they go here. You're basically passing through, and what you're doing is you're grabbing underneath here, grabbing the bicep, step into the guy, and then get the throw. Now, this would be kind of a hard enough little like a move like to pull off and Barry let's like go because he's a much taller like good um, gentleman, but. If it's someone about your own size, it's something that you can do, but you, you would more than likely have to do a much more heavier reap with the leg like to take the person down to, to actually off balance them. So like these particular maneuvers, like I said here, moving again like once again, boom, here. From there, let's like if Barry comes in with something else, P onto the head. And then like go, I can then let's like go start like you're moving like go again, like go into one to hit him like once again. So all of these particular maneuvers like you're here, if done with the staff or the empty hand, all these maneuvers let's like go kind of coming forward like once again. That's P. One coming back again. P. So I'm doing it with the closed hand like just to kind of show you let's like the emphasis like that you can do it both ways, but. If, if we're kind of let's like go playing it like a once again here P and coming around P once again like we're hitting like with the face or the eyes or getting the thumb in there and um, the next kind of maneuver I would probably go for from here if I got because of the exposed ribs is bung which is basically boom to, to basically like go crack the ribs like or to, to like hit like go from there so <clears throat> The other little like maneuvers that's like oh which we did like oh which was pow this particular so if we're doing that with the staff we could let's like go start off let's like go with like go a punch let's like go here come in with the next one and upwards okay so if we're here Barry's like you're coming in and going up up to the chin or underneath or if we're kind of playing, let's like go from what we did with the other. If you're coming with that, like your hand, like your barry, and we threw, boom, that strike, like go underneath, like go the, the the ribs, like go as well, just a, just as a kind of an option. How? The, sorry, the bung, which we were doing this way. You can do tiao, which is the kind of the lifting hand up. Let's say if I go to punch at Barry, and Barry parries like with this particular hand. Okay, now he comes in with me with the next one. Ciao, I've come up and then boom once again. Or let's say, like, um, let's say, like, Barry comes in like one of the punches. I boom, it could go up this way. Or let's say, like, if, if I'm retre retreating, let's say, like, go as in a double, like, a double tap. Okay, so that's one, two. He comes in with another, like, a punch. Ciao, boom. Once again, bung. So that maneuver lets it like you're going. It can also be used, let's like go as a kind of a joint break as well, as in crack. And Barry comes in with the next like a punch. Bung. Once again. Now, I can also let's say use let's say um, pow let in, in a kind of a rollover way as well if I want to move, move a body off, as in this way. So here. That's how let's say, like go roll, doing the roll, coming forward like go once again. So hung, which is basically like go the, the turning. This maneuver, it's really kind of let's say, like a, a kind of a catch or to deal with like go multiple punches here. 
this. So I've got that kind of brake like go on the arm. Like go from here, I can move forward, push off. And if I move around to this side to show the kind of the catch from here. If I got both the hands like a cot, I'm stepping forward, boom, hitting the zip eye process. So like there's lots of different ways to kind of like uh, do these kind of manu maneuvers. There's lots of applications after. But horizontal force is really what Hung is known for. So you have this type of thing like where I've got the catch on here. I've got a catch on the, 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 the arm. And like that has me set up like for all the kind of the, so I could go either with the, like a bung, zao, which is like a, um, the, 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 the elbow like go, or if I just want to move him off, and I can, I can shoulder strike like as well. So those are just like uh, some of the applications like from the, the Xing Yi, it's like a five elements with the staff and just some of the empty hand like transitions.